All right, now I knew the annual Python challenge is back. Yeah, this is not <laughs> for the faint of heart, but if you are willing to hunt and maybe capture one, you can sign up and win some serious cash. Uh -oh. Now, Brooke, I'm supposed to ask you about the details, but I want to know, did you catch a python? Or get close to one. <laughs> All right, well, you guys are going to... You're going to have to wait and see, but I think I may have gotten a little bit close to a python here. But yeah, Florida Python Challenge is coming up. It starts next month. 10-day challenge, not for the faint of heart. It's almost that time of year again. Time to bring out the gloves and put away any fears. It's almost time for the Florida Python Challenge. The python can get 20 feet long and weigh 200 pounds. And it becomes top of the food chain in the Everglades. Top of the food chain, where it shouldn't be. The Burmese python are invasive. If you go back to 1992, when Hurricane Andrews came through, there was three snake farms along uh, bordering Everglades National Park got destroyed, and these snakes got into the Everglades, and they multiplied. We rarely see rabbits, raccoons, and other small mammals anymore in the park. And this trips the environment off balance. Governor Ron DeSantis made a stop in the Everglades on Thursday to help kick off the Python Challenge, which starts on July 9th. It's a 10-day challenge until July 18th. FWC had a record year for Python removal in 2020. Uh, it was uh, about a 35% increase in the number of pythons uh, year over year. There are cash prizes for the most and longest snakes in both the professional and novice categories. But it's also about education, learning about the invasive snake and how to help get rid of them. Catching these massive snakes is not for the faint of heart. Hold it tight. You can feel those back jaw bones. Yep. yep. Hold it tight. But hey, even this novice reporter could do it. We got her. Let go now. Okay. Now just hold on to her mouth nice and tight. Okay. Oh. So there you have it. Somehow, I guess I've got what it takes, right? I will say though that was done with a lot of supervision. I might still be sweating here. It, I didn't even remember my name when it was happening. But if you've got what it takes, if you want to be a part of the Florida Python Challenge, you can head to flpythonchallenge.org. That's where you'll figure out how to register and all the information you need to know. I'm here in the Everglades, Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News. Brooke, what oh. a great sport and so brave. I was oh, going to say, man, that's Brooke awesome. got hard. I knew she would do it. We're so proud of you, Brooke. You have to put cause... yourself into the story, right? Brooke, right, you got right. it. Because I, I don't know if Maribel and I <laughs> could do that. Maybe Lisette? Oh, I don't think so. Lisette. All right, Brooke, great job. Thank you so much.